All right, so we're gonna play a lobby with uh, Ender Walkers. I haven't really played much of his Ed. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he was gonna stick with Ed, but it seems like he's having a lot of fun with the characters. So um, I'm looking at this as a learning opportunity. I think um, this matchup, from what little I've played of it, it seems like it might be even, maybe possibly slightly in Ed's favor, but I don't know enough yet to confirm. So let's... Uh, Let's treat this as a learning opportunity. The one thing I have learned about this matchup is that Ed's jump medium kick can hit from really weird angles. So I've got to be very, uh, very aware of the jumps from long range. I might have been able to kill off that actually. That probably was a mistake. I think I could, yeah, I could have killed off that. I went for the safe jump, but I could have just extended that combo. That's not going to kill. I'm not spending it. Whoa, cute pickup. How goes it? Uh, horny for this one. Thanks to the big three months. I'm doing okay. Hope you're having a good Friday. Yeah, there's that that sneaky jump medium kick. That's the one I got to look out for. Whoa. Better stop talking while I'm playing. Ooh, nearly, nearly. It was a late jump. His flicker is just slightly longer than my chain, and that's kind of annoying. Oh wow, that backdash is... That was cool. That backdash is drive reversal? Interesting. I knew, I knew that he could uh, backdash out of uh, DI there, but I didn't know it also beats drive reversal. Uh, Raps, thanks for the one pound. Thanks very much. Uh, yeah, the 20k followers was like three or four streams ago. But yeah. Thanks very much to everyone who's been coming through. Thanks very much. Oh, 
Oh. Forward dash into crouch jab. Turbs, thanks for converting from Prime to a Tier 1. Thanks very much. Oops. Okay, that was stupid. required. I tried to interrupt the uh, drive rush there with Stan Fierce, but it was too slow. hit airborne there so I guess he was trying to jump out the corner that game of uh, a game of chicken in the corner the charge flicker uh, I was just guessing there I thought that I thought he might do a fireball and I figured that if that cow crouch dive randomly hit the start of a fireball I'd probably win the round it was a calculated risk, even though it looked stupid. One thing I am trying to take advantage of is the fact that he doesn't look that confident yet on the anti-air front. I'm seeing a little bit of shakiness there. I don't, maybe it's just because I don't think uh, Ed didn't used to have like actual DPs, DP inputs. I'm thinking maybe that's part of it. Whoops. Okay, that was just up. I'm throwing. Actually, that's true. He does play Ryu. Maybe it's just because Ed's DP is really slow. Uh, overzealous, thanks for the big one year. Thanks very much. Appreciate you for sticking around for so long. Yeah, the, the Ed's DP is a lot slower and a lot worse than Ryu's as an anti-air, so that might also be making him a little bit uncomfortable. XDP through my DI. Uh oh, we're seeing shades of the old ending walker. We're back to Street Fighter 5 now. I 
That's his signature move. EXDP on your wake up. Range on that jump medium kick. That's what I was talking about earlier. That thing is so weird. This character can jump at angles that I never expect you can jump from. I think he's only used like one EXDP this entire set and it was on my wake up. <laughs> yeah, that's classic Ending Walker. If I've learned one thing about playing Ending Walker in Street Fighter V is that if, if he's feeling himself and he gets you into the corner with like a pixel of health and he has a big life lead, he will just do dash up EXDP on your wake up to try and make you tilt even harder. Perfect parries are always so on point. Where, where, it doesn't matter what character Enders is playing. He's always got the perfect parries on lockdown. I could have killed there if I did a better combo. Should have been EX chain after the crouch jab. Please kill. Okay. That was a little bit spooky. I wasn't sure if that was quick going to be enough. I don't want to leave this guy alive with a pixel. to lab that. I don't know the correct way to interrupt that string. Whoa. That's weird. Nice punish. Very nice.
Nice. You baited me. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Drop opportunities. I think I'm dead. Oh, live with a pixel? Never mind. Uh, Poverty Bear, thanks to the Prime Sub. Thanks very much. I'm still screwed there because I had like a pixel of drive as well, so I couldn't even block anything. Can Ed not combo off counter hit forward heavy punch? Does he get a link off there? Nice. He needs punish counter? Oh, okay. Counter hit is plus two frames, punish counter is plus four. But I guess it's like, what, plus one on hit, maybe? slide in. I meant to do heavy kick Antia. I'm not quite sure how I got heavy slide, but it got me out of there, so I'll take it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting a little bit messy right now. Rushing me down so hard. Uh, Banner Thief, thanks for the 100 bits. Hope you're having a good Friday as well. I hope Aki's third costume has her barefoot so she gets more popular. Uh, no thanks. We don't need any of those. We don't need any of those jury players over here. I'm good. I think the Aki community is pretty good because we haven't got those kinds of people everywhere. Damn. 
Ground start, drive rush, sweep. He wants in. I can feel he's getting hungry. This man wants to get in and he doesn't want to wait at all. Oh shit, that's cute. Harry's flying in all directions. Damn, that was a risky wake up jab. Oh, I'm still alive. Okay. I thought for sure he was going to wake up perfect parry on the safe jump. So I did empty jump throw, but it was one step ahead of me. Nice. Damn, that was like the absolute last frame. Nice. Yeah, that's not plus. Even in Burnout, the uh, light blitz is minus one. It's kind of a knowledge check there. It's minus five normally. Definitely getting a lot more aggressive at the moment. Nice. Ending Walker to have a perfect parry contest with Kakeru. No one would ever land a hit. It would just be endless perfect parries. No one would even press a button because they know the other person would perfect parry them. That's defense. You think he's taking that egg to tournaments? He already has been. He won. I've seen he's been winning a bunch of online tournaments lately. I think he won Salt Mine last week with uh, Ed only. Yeah, he learns insanely fast. Keep in mind, this is only what, like, when did Ed come out? A few weeks ago? Maybe a month now?
nice. <laughs> Why is parry so good? God damn it. Perfect parry every damn time. It's not even that easy, like, consistently perfect parrying Aki's fireball is tough. Slow fireballs are hard to perfect parry reliably. Okay. He does only have one fireball speed, but even still, it's definitely an awkward one. That was meant to be medium punch into drive rush, not raw parry in his face. Is it enough? No, not quite. Stop winning or he'll be using DJ against you in tournaments again. <laughs> you guys have got to keep in mind, this is all just practice. I think both of us have got a lot to learn about this matchup. I'm sure he hasn't got much experience in the Aki matchup, and I certainly don't have that much experience in the Ed matchup. We need to learn together. Spend it. Okay. <laughs> I got bonked in the head. That was cute. I thought he was going to get hit and land on the fireball. I was preparing for my victory lap. God, he's so hard to DI. I never I never get DIs out against Enders after he's warmed up. Got him? Nice. I'm gonna kill. Not quite. Drive rush throw into drive rush throw. I don't know if that's quite what he wanted, but... Okay. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, why is he so clutch all of a sudden? What the fuck? Nah, it's not gonna work. Alright, thank god for that. That was getting scary. Ender Walkers with a pixel is one of the scariest things you can fight in Street Fighter. Thankfully, I got him at the end because he hadn't he autopiloted the uh the DI a little bit. He went for it. He definitely went for it. I was not taking there. <laughs> nice. Very nice. I was scared of- like the thing is, in that situation, I was like the only thing he can possibly do here is wake up level 1 to not get chipped out. He made the right call. I want to get off Ed's wild ride. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. What a choke. What a choke. I couldn't decide how much drive I wanted to spend on that perfect parry combo. I was thinking like, if I maximize this combo, will it kill with critical art? And then I realized at the last second it wasn't going to kill. So I decided to switch to an early level 3 and mistimed it. My brain got stuck deciding between two different combos there. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. He very nearly jumped that. All right, 10-5. GG's. Good set. You want to do a run back? All right. We'll keep going for a little bit. Can you talk about how you utilize OD Fireball, especially in the corner? In the corner, I mostly just use it to lock people down and give myself plus frames. It's like fairly low risk, high reward. If you space it right, you also get a combo off it. Ah. That light blitz has weirdly low block stun. Like, it is minus five, but it's hard to punish. You have to press your light really early. Uh, 
Nice. Yeah, that's something I've got to start doing. Edge stand medium punch is one of those buttons that, for some reason, it feels like it's plus when it's not. Whoa. Okay. You got like once you block stand medium punch, you got to take your turn there. That's gonna take a while for me to like adapt the muscle memory for. Could have killed with two bars there. I'll take it. Uh, Frog Nose, thanks to the Prime. Thanks very much. Hope you're having a good Friday. Safe jump, my dude. Ah, that's not gonna kill. I might have just thrown. Oh god. Defense. <laughs> Triple dash sweep into double KO. All right. Interesting. <laughs> That's one way to end a match. Oh, that was scary. He knew he had to like dash in and do something. Because in that situation, if I was able to recover and throw a fireball, the round was over. So he definitely had to do something crazy, but I was not expecting triple dash sweep. Sheesh. Oh god. Spend it? I guess so. Yeah. I feel like maybe he could have killed that with level 1, but I guess level 2 guarantees it. Alright, he's not falling for the command grab as much anymore. First wake up super of the set. You gotta save the the ne next level defense for <laughs> uh, ten games deep. When you start bringing out the unusual stuff. I'm gonna do instant level three here. I want his drive gauge as low as possible.
Nice. Oh, dropped it. I was hoping I could bait him into trying to interrupt between the first and second halves because he's been he's been parrying there a lot earlier. He mixed it up. What's that on block? Hey, does anyone in chat know what, um... If he does the stand light kick target combo twice, what is that on block? Is that safe? Minus three? Oh, it is safe, okay. Good to know. only punishable if you block all three hits. That's surprising. The fact that he can go to the second part of the target combo and still be safe. I guess a couple characters can already do that, like DJ. Should have been dead right there. That should have been dead too. Oh, I'm not playing well right now. <laughs> he just handed me like two huge openings and I fumbled both of them. Whoa. Is that a setup <laughs> or a dropped combo? I'm not too sure. Perfect parries. Press and crouch like it. He'll run into it eventually. Oh shit! Ah, the poison wore off. I was thinking that would be it. Okay, the poison wore off at the worst possible time there. block i should probably punish that as well when he does the, the the first half of the fireball and then stops isn't that like minus five yeah i think i can punish that with like stand light kick maybe 
I've got a few things to lab after this set. That's that's one of them. Put that on the list. Is that a frame kill? Whoa. Spent it. Spend it. Okay, that was a little bit, <laughs> a little bit silly. Oh, nice. That was a cool combo. I think that's is that counter hit plus drive rush only. Drive Rush, Stand Fierce into Charge Snatcher. Cool combo. That's low rift recovery. What the fuck? What is happening right now? I'm spending it. Probably could have just chipped out without level 2, but that's guaranteed. I've seen that before. When I was playing Ed, when he first came out, I started doing that towards the end as well. A lot of people will mash if you do like jab, jab, jab. A lot of people will mash afterwards and you can try and catch them sleeping with jab, jab, jab into light blitz. It'll counter hit, but it is quite risky.
buy myself some time by doing that. There we go. The whole point of that level 2 was just to buy myself some time so I could get back up to like one bar of drive gauge, which was my win condition. That was safe. That was drive reversal safe. He whiffed the whole target combo. <laughs> Still had time to block. Oh my god. What is happening? This is really bad. Alright, that was pretty sloppy. Boogie, thanks for the tier one sub. Hope you're having a good Friday. Thanks very much. Damn the trade. Damn that combos from there. That's crazy. He's feeling it now. He's feeling it now. Walk up the XDP through the fireball. Side switch. Okay. Bend it. Yeah, he tried it again. If that, if I pressed the button there, that blitz would have counter hit me, and I would have lost the match. I wish I could low profile that. That's really annoying. The uh, the snatcher, I think it's the medium kick snatcher. It hits like diagonally down. So I can't ever actually low profile it with coward crouch. He can just snipe me on the floor. A one bar kill, probably. Nice.
Surprised he didn't just DI that. Oh man, I'm guessing wrong on everything. Not looking good. Damn. Alright, showing signs of life. happening right now i tried to mash level one after the first charge flicker and nothing came out i think it's because that charge flicker is like obscenely plus in burnout i think it's like plus four normally so i guess it's like plus eight in burnout so i just i couldn't even mash because there was no gap I don't know what he tried there. I guess that was an attempt at a level two. Actually, yeah, I think that was level two. Because he got Blitz, which is quarter circle back. I think he tried to level two. Damn, that was sick. All right, I'll give it up. Double perfect parry. Very nice. That's just showboating. I gotta stop getting caught out by that. I mentioned it earlier, but stand medium punch is not plus. I really need to start pressing like crouch medium punch there and not jab. The mistake I'm making is that I'm blocking the medium punch and then pressing jab, which is not in range. So I'm just getting whiff punished by the follow-up. Uh, Goki, welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching my YouTube stuff. We're running some sets with uh, the young prodigy. Whoa, trade combo? Falling for any of my frame traps now. I'm gonna need to go back to uh, the original offensive strategy with a lot of parries.
I'm out. <laughs> Whoa. He definitely tried to do something fancy there. Man, his defense is so good right now. Every single time I've gone for the shimmy, he hasn't bit, he hasn't uh, fallen for it. And every single time I've gone for the uh, neutral jump, he uh, didn't get opened up. Stop having good defense. Very rude of you. Sweep into sweep. All right. Whiff sweep into sweep. Nah, I just did it. <laughs> I didn't really have a good read there, but I just figured... I haven't let rip many supers this much. Oh shit, he's still alive? This is spooky. Alright. Low, sneaky. Round 
Man, that stand, that stand, oh my god, that stand heavy kick, when he whiffs it in my face, that shit has like no whiff recovery. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. Maybe a pixel. Pixel? Hold on. Damn it. Bopped in the head. I'm trying to I'm trying to bait him into doing stand fierce into uh Is that gonna kill? No not quite. Hang on. Damn it! Every time. I'm trying to bait him into doing stand fierce into flicker, but he's just not falling for it. This man is undiable. He always presses parry. Nice. All right, I'm running out of steam here. I think I'm gonna play to the end of this first to 10 and then I need to take a break. My brain's turning to pudding. Oh, that's not gonna kill. <laughs> Why am I so bad at calculating kill combos, man? Absolute skill issue. He could have got a combo off that. That was punish counter. I don't know why he did a shimmy afterwards. Wake up jab.
I thought he was going to level one on wake up there. I'm surprised he didn't, to be honest. He's been surprisingly conservative with his wake up reversals. I'm used to Enders having like 100% success rate on the wake up EXDP, but he's not used it very much. That's crazy. That stun heavy kick has like no recovery. He's whiffing it in my face and then getting a button afterwards. Partly my fault for not pressing, but that's going to take a while to get used to. He has, the thing is, he hasn't gone for the full charge fierce a single time yet. He's done. He's he's baited me into the di every single time, and I haven't adjusted. Stop autopiloting me. Yeah, I had to DI there. If I blocked anything, I would have been burnt out and probably lost. Huh? Right, that should be a kill combo. I landed the drive rush heavy kick and I somehow managed to not get the uh, cow crouch dive to connect afterwards. It didn't punish counter? It doesn't need to punish counter. Drive rush advantage is all you need for that to work. Shit. That's really annoying. I tried to do stand heavy kick into EX Fireball, and because my previous EX Fireball was just off the edge of the screen, I couldn't stop fire the second one. Oh my god. That's really annoying. 
I didn't do quarter circle back heavy punch. I did EX fireball, but the stupid rule about the previous EX fireball being like right off the edge of the stage screwed me over. All right, GG's Enders. Thanks for the games. Good stuff as always. I think I've got some few things I want to lab there. But uh, yeah, thanks very much.